Hey everybody, Paul Turner here from thedisciplesproject.net. You may notice new glasses here today, so feel free to give me comments down below to let me know what you think of the new glasses. Uh, it's the price of getting old, I guess, but there it goes. But today I want to talk to you about a project that I have worked on. Uh, I have skipped all the little itsy bitsy parts, uh, but I have built a just a very simple uh, drum shield. Okay, we're moving from having uh, electronic drums to real drums, and we need a little bit of uh, uh, buffer there uh, for the stage. I'm hoping that the small uh, stage there, most of the sound is going to be staying up there for the most part. Uh, some will be leaking out this way, which is good, but I thought I'd just show you a little bit about how I put this together because let me tell you, this is more about, uh, you know, uh, fast, right? Sometimes we don't have time to uh, get other people in the church to build it or they don't have time, and projects like this it can just take a long time if you're waiting on somebody else to do it. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Never built one before. So I know all of you there that are drummers or build these things. Okay, I get it. I am not a construction person. I'm just trying to figure it out. Okay, I just need to buffer some sound. So feel free to tell me all about how I did it wrong. That's great. Uh, but this is what I'm going to use. Uh, and of course, I know there are YouTube videos, which, you know, you could build a much better one. I'll feel free. Just look up here. I put a little link there where I know they are. But I just need something simple, guys. Okay. So that's what I did. It's real simple. I just use, uh, I think it's a one eighth inch uh, plexiglass. And I left, normally what you would do is they have uh, this, um, uh, like paper on here and you can peel that off. I chose to just go ahead and leave it on. Uh, this way it can uh, just continue to act as a, a buffer as well. Uh, I just got some one by here, uh, just put some screws in it. Got there four, it's four foot high uh, and uh, about three foot wide. So I got about nine feet of space there that I will put around. Uh, I just have some simple hinges here that I put on. You can see right there, super duper easy hinges. Uh, and then I'm going to take over here, in my next phase here, I'm going to take, all this is, is just some bedding that I got from Walmart, some, uh, some mattress stuff. And uh, you can see there, it's going to fit quite nicely. All right, everybody, I got my piece cut, cut it out there. I did notice, though, I'm only going to have enough, this particular size, mattress size, I'm only going to have enough for two panels here. So it will actually require two of those bedrolls, unless you can find them somewhere else. It's a little pricey, probably about 30 bucks a piece. Uh, but I am going to put both of those on. One thing I'm going to use here is I'm going to use some of this spray adhesive. Uh, I'm going to spray it on the boards and on uh, the panel itself to make it stick. So let me go ahead and do that, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, good news. See, with the extra pieces I had, I was actually able to make a third panel. And so uh, of one bedroll will do it if, in fact, you want to do that. That stickiness, by the way, that you hear... It's what happens when you step onto your board after you have sprayed it. So don't do this. <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. Let me tell you what, I just want to encourage you with this because, number one, I've never built, obviously, I've never built one of these before. Uh, but I wanted to show you that you can do it as a, uh, a quick fix if you need something for your drums, if you have real drums on your stage. And I guess I want to tell you, don't be afraid to try new things. If this doesn't work, I'll do something else. It's not that big a deal. If you are interested uh, in subscribing to the channel, after watching this, by the way, if you're brand new and you are still interested in subscribing to this channel, I would love you to do so. Please go ahead and hit my head over here somewhere. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell down there as well. And click on notifications so you get videos like this in your inbox. If you're a regular, thank you so much. You know my shenanigans already, so you know that I do strange things. So you're so much used to this. But still, if you like the video, be sure to click the thumbs up button. That's when you like the video and you want more of them. Have you built one of these before? Let me know down in the comments below. And how did it work out for you? All right, that's it for today, guys. You guys have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.